Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. I'm Cassie and thank you for being here. So tonight I am watching Ghostbusters. And yes, I know the, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. I know that there are some naysayers out there that don't believe that I haven't actually seen these movies, but I really haven't. And it's because I was living under a movie rock. I was really dumb. And for example, Ghostbusters, I would be like, uh, it's old. I don't want to watch like old movies. I just want to watch like modern day made this year movies. I was dumb. So no, I really have not seen these movies that I'm watching. If you like these reactions, make sure you like and subscribe. And you can always check out my full length reactions on my Patreon, which is just popcorn in bed as well. I know a little bit about Ghostbusters. I know Bill Murray is in it. I know, maybe that is all I know about it. I assume they are some kind of ghost hunters. I don't, is this a scary movie? I think, I don't, I hope not. I don't know if they're like funny ghosts or like Casper ghosts or they like demon ghosts. We shall see. Anyways, um, I'm excited to watch it. I feel like it's a classic that I should have seen at this point in my life. And so, and I love Bill Murray these days. So I think it'll be great. And I actually haven't even seen, didn't they do a remake with Girl Ghostbusters? I haven't seen that one either. So I don't know. I'm going to this pretty blind other than, who are you gonna call? Ghostbuster. Okay, let's go. scary music already guys. I'm not mentally prepared for a scary movie. I think it's like a spoofy scary movie though, right? Like a funny one? Oh crap, something scary is gonna happen. It's too quiet. <laughs> Tell me what you think it is. Square. Good guess, but wrong. I missed what was on the door. Professor? Tell me what you think it is. I love the 80s hair. Is it a star? It is a star. <gasps> Very good. Circle. Close. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. Wait, Ready? poor guy. What is it? Figure eight. Incredible. That's five for five. You're not cheating me, are you? No, I swear. They're just coming to me. Nervous? Yes. You only have 75 more to go. What's this one? Is he testing them? A couple wavy lines. Sorry, this isn't your lucky day. <laughs> I know. Well, I, but it's not, I, uh, ah! I'm studying the effect of negative reinforcement on ESP ability. It's pissing me off! Well, then maybe my theory is correct. You may as well get used to that. It's the kind of resentment that your ability is going to provoke in some people. This is it. This is definitely it. Will you excuse me for a second? right in the middle of something, Ray. At 1.40 p.m. at the main branch of the New York Public Library, 10 people witnessed a free-floating, full-torso vaporous apparition. I'm very excited. I'm very pleased. So this is like a normal thing? Ghosts in the city? We're close on this one. I can feel it. I don't want Bill Murray to be a creepy professor with these young students. You guys have been running your ass off, meeting and greeting every schizo in the five bros that says he has a paranormal experience. <laughs> Oh, you're here. This is Big Peter. This is very big. There's definitely something here. Egon, this reminds me of the time you tried to drill a hole. I recognize the middle guy. Well, thank you for coming. Hope we can clear this up quickly and quietly. We don't even know what you have yet. Have you or any member of your family ever been diagnosed schizophrenic, mentally incompetent? My uncle thought he was St. Jerome. I'd call that a big yes. Are you, Alice, menstruating right now? <gasps> what has that got to do with it? So they haven't actually fought anything yet. Or busted, I should say. Look! It's 
Symmetrical book stacking. You're right. No human being would stack books like this. You smell something? Mm. Raymond, look at this. Ectoplasmic residue. Bankman, get a sample of this. So Bankman doesn't believe he's just helping them for fun? Oh. Ah. Come on. Oh. Da. This happened to you before? Is something gonna pop out at me? It's here. And it's real. So what do we do? What do we do? I don't know. What do you think? Stop that! One of us should actually try to speak to it. Good idea. Oh my gosh. Hello, I'm Peter. Where are you from originally? Shh. All right, okay. The usual stuff isn't working. I know. Do exactly as I say. Ready? Get her! I did not like that! Get her! That was your whole plan. Get her. It was terrifying. We're scientific. Possibilities are, are limitless. Hey, Dean Yeager. I trust you're moving us to better quarters on campus. The Board of Regents has decided to terminate your grant. You are to vacate these premises immediately. Your theories are the worst kind of popular tripe. Your methods are sloppy and your conclusions are highly questionable. You are a poor scientist, Dr. Bateman. That's harsh. And you have no place in this department or in this university. I've worked in the private sector. They expect results. Don't they have that whole thing on videotape? Can't they get rich from that? Sell it to the news? Go into business for ourselves. This ecto-containment system that Spengler and I have in mind is going to require a load of bread to capitalize. Where are we going to get the money? I don't know. My parents left me that house. I was born there. You're not going to lose the house. Ray, for your information, the interest rate alone for the first five years comes to $95,000. I feel like he's kind of a jerk, like his Groundhog Day character. Hopefully he has a change of heart in this movie as well. What do you think, Egon? I think this building should be condemned. Wow, this place is great. When can we move in? <laughs> You've got to try this pole. Hey. We should stay here tonight, sleep here, you know, to try it out. Don't they all have some PTSD after what they saw? Oh. Oh, Dana, it's you. Oh, hi, yes, Louis, it's me. I thought it was a drugstore. Oh, are you sick? Oh, no, no, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he's Canadian. You want to come in for a mineral water? Oh, I'd really like to, um, Louis, but I have to go to rehearsal now, excuse me. No sweat. Listen, that reminds me, you shouldn't leave your TV on so loud when you go out. The creep down the hall phone the manager. Oh, that's strange. I didn't realize I left it on. I turned up my TV real loud, too, so everyone would think <laughs> that both Louis. our TVs had something wrong with them. <laughs> Take off, what was it? <laughs> I'm gonna have a shower. Oh, that guy. Are you troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Pick up your phone and call the professionals. Go Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. We're ready to believe you. They got a commercial. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I would lose my mind. Oh, my gosh. Run, 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 run. Don't. Don't. Just get out of there! Everybody can relax. I found the car. Need some suspension work. Janine, any calls? No. Any messages? No. Any customers? No, Dr. Venkman. Don't stare at me. You got the bug eyes. <laughs> Janine! Oh, the love for coat. I don't have an appointment. I'd like to talk to someone, please. <laughs> I'm Peter Vinkman. And this voice said, Zool. And then I slammed the refrigerator door and I left. Generally, you don't see that kind of behavior in a major appliance. She's telling the truth. At least she thinks she is. I'll take Miss Barrett back to her apartment and check her out. I'll go check out Miss Barrett's apartment. Okay? Oh, my gosh. Nope. Would never enter again. I hate this. I like to torture him. That's right, boys. It's Dr. Venkman. This isn't all an act for her, right? What is he even? Just you? Yes. Have. What is that thing you're doing? It's one of our little toys. I see. Like, how is she calm? Dana, are these the eggs? Yes. These eggs just jumped right out of their shells and started to cook on the counter. Oh, my 
God, look at all the junk food. There was a, a building or something with flames coming out of it, and there were flames, and I heard a voice say, Zool. Believe her. I don't think you're crazy. Oh, good, that makes me feel so much better. She's not into it, man. I'm gonna go for broke. I am madly in love with you. I don't believe this. Will you please leave? Not Can good for business. Yeah, I'll solve your little problem. Okay. And then you'll say, Pete Binkman's a guy who can get things done. I'll bet you're going to be thinking about me after I'm gone. I bet I am. Oh, my gosh. This is very unprofessional. To our first customer. To our first and only customer. Uh-huh. Well, just, uh, just give me the address. We got one! Call! <laughs> he wanted that... To use that fire pole so bad. Hey, anybody see a ghost? Huh? The guests are starting to ask questions and I'm running out of excuses. It was never ever this bad though. The owners don't like us to even talk about no. it. We handle this kind of thing all the time. No, we're exterminators. Somebody saw a cockroach up on 12. That's gotta be some cockroach. <laughs> Bite your head off, man. You know, it's just occurred to me we really haven't had a completely successful test of this equipment. I blame myself. So do I. <laughs> yep. Yep. Let's get ready. Switch me on. Why is Bankman not scared? <laughs> that could have been horrible. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. We thought you were someone else. Have they evacuated the floor? Like, why haven't they evacuated the 12th floor? Beckman! Beckman! Oh, disgusting blob. I'm gonna have to hold him myself. <laughs> Evacuate the floor! Come in, Ray. It's right here, Ray. It's looking at me. Yeah! Ew! Okay? He slimed me. That's great! You got slime! That's great, Ray. Save some for me. I feel like I'm always the one that's worried about the damage that is caused in movies. And this feels like it's going to be a lot of damage. And who's going to pay for it? Right, boys. So are they trying to kill Ready? it or are they trying to capture it? I did that. That's my fault. There's something very important I forgot to tell you. What? Don't cross the streams. Try to imagine all life as you know it stopping instantaneously and every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. All right, important safety tip. Thanks, Egan. Oh, 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 oh. I assure you, Mrs. Van Houten, there is no problem with the room. It will be ready promptly at time as soon as your guests are with it. Oh, no. Oh, no. You excuse me, please? Wait, 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 wait. I've always wanted to do this. And... <laughs> Right, I'm opening that trap now. Don't look directly into the trap. Did it work? <gasps> they did it. Well, that wasn't such a chore now, was it? We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. We're going to have to ask $4,000 for that. I had no idea to be so much. I won't pay it. Well, that's all right. We can just put it right back in there. No! All right. Today, the entire eastern seaboard is alive with talk of incidents of paranormal activity. So why are these ghosts just popping up all of a sudden? Ghost fever grips New York. What are they doing with these ghosts? Oh, so they're saying that because they're hunting them, more are showing up? Oh, they're getting like super famous, cover of time. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. No job is too big. No fee is too big. No <laughs> fee is. If there's a steady paycheck in it, I'll believe anything you say. This is Winston Zedmore. He's here about the job. Beautiful. You're hired. Ray Stance, Pete Venkman. Welcome aboard the New Orchestra. Um, <laughs> that was a wonderful rehearsal. You heard that. Do you have some information for me on my case? Well, sure, but I prefer to give it to you in private. Why don't you... Smooth. Well, the name Zul refers to a demigod worshipped around 6,000 B.C. by the... What's that word? Hittites. Hittites. <laughs> What's that word? Miss Barrett, you seem to think there is something wrong up here that says, in your mind, he enjoys taking his evenings off and making a special exception in your case. Because I respect you. It's corny, but I respect you as an artist. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's a little bit charming. 
kind of obnoxious, a little bit charming. So who the hell is that? He's just a friend. A friend? Well, what does he do? Well, he's a scientist. He's a ghostbuster. There's a man from the EPA here to see you. He's waiting in your office. Are you Peter Venkman? Dr. Venkman. Exactly what are you a doctor of? Well, I have PhDs in parapsychology and psychology. And now you catch ghosts. And where do you put these ghosts? Into a storage facility. And may I see this storage facility? This guy seems no. fishy. Why do you want to see the storage facility? Well, because I'm curious. Now you either show me what is down there, or I come back with a court order. You go get a court order, and I'll sue your ass for wrongful prosecution. <laughs> well, let's say this Twinkie represents the normal amount of psychokinetic energy in the New York area. Okay, why does that look so good, actually? Uh-oh. That looks ominous. Wait, is that... Is Susan her name? Is this her apartment? Oh, boy. Her neighbor. Oh, Dana, it's you. Lewis. You gotta come in here, you're missing a classic party. That's great, I'll tell everybody you're coming. We're gonna play Twister, we're gonna do some break dancing. Yeah. Oh, he's locked out again. <laughs> right, bye. Oh, no. Bye. No. Just run away. Oh. Shut up! Shut freaking up! That is... <gasps> Shut up! Okay, that will haunt my nightmares. Hey, this is Real Smoke Salmon from Nova Scotia, Canada. 24.95 a pound. 24 from Nova Scotia, Canada. 3,000 left on the house at 8%. So <laughs> okay, who brought the dog? <laughs> The bear loose. No, nice no, 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 no. Two little food. Oh my gosh. Oh. Seriously, Hello. arms coming out of the couch like that. Wait, what? That's a different look for you, isn't it? Are you the key master? Not that I know of. Is someone possessing her body? Are you the key master? Yes. I didn't get your name. I am Zul. What are we doing today, Zul? We must prepare for the coming of Gozer, the Destructor. Oh, no. Do you want this body? Is this a trick question? This is weird. We know. He's not picking up on it. So Time to make it a rule never to get involved with possessed people. Sounds like you got at least two people in there already. What I'd really like to do is talk to Dana. So he knows. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why is he not scared? Oh my gosh. This is disturbing. He's possessed too? Wait for the sign. Then all prisoners will be released. Oh my gosh. Is it gonna be? Him. Are you the gatekeeper? You are so kind to take care of that man. Janine loves Egon. He will come in one of the pre-chosen forms. Ketrick supplicants, they chose a new form for him. That of a giant slore. But it's a slore. I feel like something bad is coming. Something very strange about that man. Uh... Hello? She says she's the gatekeeper. Does that make any sense to you? I just met the key master. He's here with me now. This seems wrong. That doesn't seem healthy. Ray, has it ever occurred to you that maybe the reason we've been so busy lately is because the dead have been rising from the grave? Ooh. EPA is back to play. Don't patronize me. I'm not grotesquely stupid like the people you built. That ease, officer. That <laughs> ease. Shut it off. <gasps> Don't shut it off. I'm warning you. Just in your opinion, just shut it off. Oh, this guy. He's <laughs> sniffing me. Uh-oh. 
That was a big mistake. Oh no. Are those all ghosts? Oh. Stop, that's not a ghost. Huh? Oh no. Does she do that? Cold riveted girders with cores of pure selenium. Everybody getting this so far? <laughs> Your girlfriend lives in the corner penthouse of Spook Central. She's not my girlfriend. That's what he gets from it. Something terrible is about to enter our world, and this building is obviously the door. So be good, for goodness sake. He's never serious. Whoa. The key master. Oh my gosh. I am the key master. I am the gatekeeper. Uh oh. Stay back, here come the Ghostbusters. I feel like they don't really have a plan though. The Ghostbusters are here, Mr. Mayor. The Ghostbusters, okay, the Ghostbusters. The power grid was shut off by Dickless here. They caused an explosion. Is this true? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could believe Mr. Pecker. My name is Peck. Or you could accept the fact that this city is headed for a disaster of biblical proportion. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. <laughs> Enough, I get the point. Get him out of here. Bye. It is your fault. Peck. They're in their car. Oh my gosh. Pure chaos. Hello, New York! Oh my gosh, just the end of the world and he's just loving being the celebrity. Where did they go? I was in no way prepared. <laughs> but when we get to 20, tell me, I'm going to throw up. Zool seems to like the female human form. 22. Where is it? It's at the end of the hall. Shouldn't they have their guns ready or something? Oh. <gasps> hey, where do these stairs go? They go up. <laughs> this guy. Uh oh, hurry, hurry, Ghostbusters. This is Gozer coming now. Oh, but where's Dana? Guns, guys. Come on. Well, whatever it is, it's got to get by us. Right. Go get her, Ray. <laughs> Gozer the Gozerian? She's terrifying. Good evening. Good evening. As it, I order you to cease any and all supernatural activity and return forthwith to your place of origin. That ought to do it. Thanks very much, right? <laughs> Are you a god? Guys, this is why I cannot do horror movies. I'm seriously scared right now. <gasps> Show this prehistoric bitch how we do things downtown. Again, again. Uh oh. They didn't get her. Oh, that could do some damage. Choose. Choose the form of the destructor. Whatever we think of. If we think of J. Edgar Hoover. J. Edgar Hoover will appear and destroy us, okay? So empty your hands. The choice is made. Whoa! Did you choose anything? No. Did you? My mind is totally blank. I didn't choose anything! Uh-oh, Ray. I couldn't help it. It just popped in there. What just popped in there? I... What was it? Look! What is it? Oh. It's 
the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. What? What? Oh, this is so ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Ways we could reverse the particle flow through the gate. How? We'll cross the streams. Excuse me, Egon. You said crossing the streams was bad. Very slim chance we'll survive. This poor guy. Let's do it! This job is definitely not worth 11 five a year. See you on the other side, Ray. This is horrifying. Our pieces of marshmallow dropping. Oh my god. Guys, I know it. They're gonna be alive. They have to be alive. The heroes wouldn't die in a movie like this. Oh, thank God. You okay? I'm all right. You all right? I'm all right. You all right? Yeah. You okay? Fine. Oh, the dog. Smells like barbecued dog hair. <gasps> Look! Dana. I wonder if she remembers any of it. <laughs> like doing it with the key master. Turn on the lights! <laughs> Go check on that little guy. Are you okay? Who are you guys? We're the Ghostbusters. We're the Ghostbusters. Who does your taxes? <laughs> Love this town! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's so ridiculous. Oh, Dan Aykroyd. Sigourney Weaver. I don't recognize these names. Wait, Rick Moranis? Was I wrong about him the whole time? I thought it was a Mackenzie. I'm confused now. It feels like it's over, but I don't want to miss anything. Ooh, are they setting it up for a number two? Was there a number two? Okay, fun. Okay, so I thought this movie was a lot of fun but legit scary in some places for a person like me who's scared of everything. It was really funny. There was some really good one-liners. I liked the chemistry of the three guys. Although Bill Murray's character is so obnoxious, he's also just like, he grows on you and he did it for me. And I really liked him in the end. He's so sarcastic. Okay, so she's a dog. <laughs> like, that was so good. Um, I feel like this is what it, like now that I've seen it, this is like a classic 80s movie. And like the whole effects and stuff weren't like amazing, but who cares? Because that's that was probably part of the charm of it. Yeah, it was so fun. And was that Ghostbusters too? Gotta go check that out. I just don't know how you couldn't have fun with this movie. I feel like it's another one that seeing this as a kid in the 80s or 90s would have been so fun and terrifying for me. <laughs> but I thought, yeah, I thought everyone did amazing. Everyone was funny, not even just Bill Murray. Like even the other guys were really funny. And Rick Moranis, who I think is the Canadian guy. Yeah, it was just a lot of fun. Okay, remember if you liked this, um, it would be so helpful if you liked and subscribed and turned on your notifications and you can always check out full length reactions and basically get to pick the movies I watch on polls over on Patreon. So thanks again for being here. You guys are the very best and good night.